Okay, on today's tutorial, we're going to set up the remote control uh, option on the QSC TouchMix 16 and how to create the network. First thing we're going to do is take the provided USB dongle switch and plug it into the back of the QSC. You're going to get a message that says a network has been successfully created. Go to menu. Mixer setup, bottom left under the settings, network setup, then you'll notice the network setup screen. This is where you name your mixer. I named it TM for touch mix. After you name it, hit enter. These settings are going to be for wireless, and we're going to create our own network. And the default password is 10 digits, so I just left it that. Uh, but it does have to be 10 uh, numbers, it can't be any letters. So we're good there, so hit menu. And now what we want to do is we want to go over to our iPad, which I have right here. Now we're going to open the mixer up, okay? You've got to download the app. So go to the App Store, download the QSC app. And notice here it says not connected. And it says N123, it's all just real generic. So there's nothing been assigned to any of these channels yet. So you can't do anything with it. Not connected, it's in red. Because you have to go to your Wi-Fi settings. Same thing for your iPhone, if you're connecting your iPhone. Turn your Wi-Fi on. And we're gonna look for TM. As soon as it connects, we'll go back and open up the app. Connected. So open up the app. You're connected to TM and it gives you what you have access to. Just click OK. And now you can set up different access rights. Um, if you just want someone to have just a, you know, their own monitor mix or have them not be able to control the mains, etc. So you can kind of set that up in the, uh, the mixer and we'll go do that right now. Okay, we're back at the board here, so let's go to the remote control settings. So you, this is your main home, so go to menu, remote control settings, devices, this is the name of my iPad, and then you can see access control, personal monitor mix, or full access. We're going to go ahead and go full access, then just click save. Select the device. Click Save. So now I have full access over here on my iPad. So let's go look at the iPad. It sends a message to it. You're connected to TouchMix and have full access to all. Click OK. Now let's play some uh, music. And you can hear it remotely through the app and through that QSC K-Series um, powered speaker. That's the K-12. So what I've actually done is I've gotten my iPhone here as a music source. I'm going to plug it into a stereo channel, uh, number 1718. It's left to right, stereo. We're going to go over to the iPad here, and you'll see we're getting an input signal from that channel via the app. And the sound is going to come out of the QSC speaker. Very smooth.